A little boy fights heroic battles with toy soldiers and toy guns. He sails the seven seas on a plastic boat in the bathtub. He blasts off to the moon in a titan rock of three-ply and cardboard. He drives the southern aurora on the lounge room cup. When you're seven, it's all right to dream. You can do all these things. Flirt with danger and adventure. Try a different, more exciting career every day. When you're seven. But there comes a time when reality must take over and you must decide on one career. You must decide which way to go. How about going our way? You leave school. You feel a new sense of freedom. The world beckons, big, bright, bewildering. Exciting. But along with all the attractions of the big new world, there are new problems. What about your future? It's easy enough to get any old job, but you're much better off with a career. With the Victorian Railways, it's all systems go, and it can put you on the right track. There's a feel about the railways. It's a busy, bustling, driving, dynamic atmosphere. The pace is fast. And the people are going places in a hurry. It's a man's world, this world of trains. rumble of the railways. Men and boys have traditionally been fascinated by this atmosphere, where huge wheels thunder along winding tracks, the exciting throb of modern motive power.
behind it all are the men and boys who make the Victorian railway swing, who keep it equal to any in the world. The railways provide a vital service to the community and to industry. Each year, the Victorian railways safely carry about 150 million suburban passengers, 12 and a half million tons of goods and livestock. A vital service, and it needs vital people. Not everyone likes the same type of work, thank goodness, but in the railways, there are so many different things to do that the choice seems limitless. It's easy for you to become part of this exciting world. Even young men of third form standard can apply for positions on the clerical or station staff. In fact, the choice is up to you to decide in which part of the railways you want to work. The railways offer you specialised training to prepare you for your duties. So, in a sense, it's back to school. But this time it's specialised, heading you in one direction, the right one. The smart uniform for station assistance comes free of charge, naturally. <laughs> and girls can't resist a man in uniform. As a station assistant, your work at a station will be busy and interesting. sense of importance will be justified by knowing that your personality becomes a symbol of the railway's image of friendly efficiency. Your sense of responsibility will be encouraged and developed by the knowledge that you are directly responsible for the comfort, convenience and safety of the traveller. You'll be starting at the bottom, but you can reach the top. I'm Chief Traffic Manager of the Victorian Railways, that is, head of the traffic branch. I started as a junior clerk in 1921. My predecessors started as junior clerks or junior station assistants. Therefore, it naturally follows that one of the present-day recruits will ultimately reach my position. And this is borne out by the fact that the recruits of yesterday are among the top men today. The chairman of commissioners himself started as an apprentice. This commissioner started as a junior clerk. The chief electrical engineer was an apprentice. An apprentice fitter and turner became the chief mechanical engineer. A junior clerk rose to become superintendent of refreshment services. The secretary for the railways started as a messenger boy. There's nothing to stop any lad achieving success in the career of his choice. He may never become a Bradman or a Chifley, but any lad in Australia can go as far as his own ability would allow. The secret is simple and always the same. To love what you're doing and to try and do it better than it's ever been done before. So although your initial job may seem menial, be prepared for sweeping changes. These are some of the things you could be doing in just a few years' time. 
The intricate maze of rail traffic flows smoothly and safely, but it does not just happen. Behind the scenes are men, men who have been lads like yourself, who control the entire complex. Freight of every conceivable type is handled. There is a wide variety of work in the railways for men trained in electrical knowledge. Travellers must be catered for. Someone has to attend to their needs and comforts. Someone has to handle the money side of things. Commercial agents travel deep into the country to arrange for the requirements of the man on the land. The opportunities are all there. And there are many extra benefits. You can join the Victorian Railways Institute with its library of over 50,000 books to pick from. There are classes in accountancy and typewriting, and lots of clubs to join. Rail fares to work cost only one quarter. There's sick leave, long service leave, and superannuation, or retiring gratuity. And if you have a large family, well, eventually, you and they are entitled to free Victorian and interstate train travel during your annual leave and Victorian country travel at quarter fare as often as you like. Whichever way you look at it, the railways is a swinging scene. It's where the action is. This is the scene for you. So don't get left behind. You can be going places with the Victorian Railways. A 
man's world is ahead of you. You can be our way.